The iPhone is a versatile piece of tech and one of the million things you can do with it is use it as a webcam for your PC or Mac. The software we'll be using is called Epoch Cam, which is available for both iOS and Android. On the PC end, you'll need Kinoni, which is for both Windows 10 and Mac OS. Hi, this is Phil from Mac Tech Easier, and this is use your iPhone or Android as a webcam. If there's one thing Mac and Windows computer owners can agree on, it's that built-in webcams are mostly universally bad. Sure, there are likely some exceptions if you dig deep enough, but those would be the exception and not the rule. As work from home continues to rise in popularity, demand for webcams has jumped enormously, leading to skyrocketing prices. Fortunately, you can avoid fighting the crowds as you likely already have the best webcam sitting right next to you on your desk. The following shows how to use your iPhone or Android phone as a webcam for all of your video chatting. Getting started. Using your iPhone or Android as a webcam will require the installation of a third-party app both on your iPhone or Android and Mac or Windows computer. Setting up both apps is fairly simple and we'll cover that in a moment. The good news is that this works for Skype, Zoom, Slack, WhatsApp and whatever available video service you wish to use. If you really want to take using your phone as a webcam to new heights, you'll want to invest in a small tripod as well. Incorporating a tripod will make sure the iPhone stays stable throughout a video call. It's who wants handheld camera work. This route also means you are reliant on the iPhone microphone and speaker for picking up your voice and listening to others. For the best experience, a pair of headphones will likely come in handy. Setting everything up. There are several different apps available that enable you to use your iPhone as a webcam, but few are as recommended as Epoch Cam. With no cables or hardware setup required, you begin by grabbing the app from the App Store or Google. Next, you need to head over to kinoni.com and download the drivers for macOS or Windows. Remember to install the drivers after downloading. Once the drivers are installed, there's nothing else that really needs to be done on a computer. As long as the computer and phone are on the same Wi-Fi, you're ready to move on. Go back to your iPhone or Android and launch the Epoch Cam app. Initially, you'll likely see an all black screen with an image of a laptop and a phone and a pulsing circle. That's normal. It indicates your iPhone or Android phone is searching for the computer. As a reminder, the app itself won't connect to the computer until you launch an app like Skype, Teams or Zoom. Launch an app that incorporates video, whether it's Skype, Zoom, Teams, etc. and head to the camera settings and select Epoch Cam instead of your built-in camera. The latter should be enabled by default, so both options should be present in a drop-down box. Once selected, a notification will appear on either your Mac or Windows computer confirming the switch. Helpful Tips the free version of Epoch Cam does come with some limits, so note those ahead of time. For one, it limits your video quality to 640 by 480 at 30 frames a second. That's slightly still better than your computer's webcam, so I wouldn't be too worried about that. The free version also requires you to review the app on the App Store and requires a set of headphones to use as a microphone. Hmm. If you want the premium experience that unlocks 1080p full HD quality and want also to use the iPhone microphone for calls, it will cost you $8. That removes the free version watermark, removes the annoying in-app ads, adds dual camera support for capable iPhones or Androids, and also introduces manual focus. If for any reason you do not see Epoch Cam listed as an option underneath camera settings in any app, reinstall the drivers. You can also double check that the phone and computer are on the same Wi-Fi connection as that makes a difference. In the event you only see a black screen on your iPhone or Android with a spinning loading icon, quit the app and open it again on both the computer and the iPhone. Separately, you may run into some trouble if you're using a browser-based video conferencing application rather than its desktop counterpart. In that case, you'll need to make sure you provide your browser with permission to access your webcam. That should happen naturally every time you open the web-based app anyway. Or it can be found inside various web browser settings. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.